I'm Sarah, and this is Travis. We've moved seven times in the last six years and are currently renovating our third house with our three boys and our old English sheepdog. Follow along as we renovate our house and raise our boys. That's him. Subscribe and join us on our next adventure. The other day I saw a prank where the guy made it look like he had a nail going through his head. And I think we're going to do that and see if we can scare Sarah and Matt. Okay, you ready? You want to do it or should I do it? You. I don't, I don't think you can do it without laughing. And I don't think I can do it without laughing. And my hands are so dirty from working. What if you don't actually like glue your eyes shut? Oh, this glue just washes off. Can you open your eyes? How's that look? Good. Does it look like I got shot in the eye? Yeah. Oh, it does look really good, doesn't it? <laughs> It's gonna get her so good. I need you to come oh over God. here. Do we need to go? No, the kids are laughing when you do. So stop it. That's not funny. How do you even do that? Do you glue it on? Elvis glued with Elvis. Yes. Oh, let's see. If I didn't hear the kids on. laughing, I probably Dang would have been guys. scared. Dang, guys. It wasn't me. Was you, you looked a little freaked. I was oh, having yeah. to cover my face, so I wasn't laughing. <laughs> well, I'm gonna watch the video. I like no. I know you well enough that I was like, this has to be a joke. But there was like a little bit of me that because it looked pretty real, huh? Yeah, it looked really freaky. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready for my second layer of mud here. Uh, you want this to be about an inch thick, and you want to tape your drain so that you don't get mud in your pipes. <laughs> Two by four, it's an inch and a half. I am gonna just generally mark everything at this inch and a half line. Okay, so you want this to be an inch thick, but you also need to factor in your tile height. So really for this stage, you need to know what tile you're gonna do. So this is 7 sixteenths thick. That means I need to be inch and 7 sixteenths. And when I put my grout in, or my concrete in here, I need to make sure I leave that 7 sixteenths of gap so that my tile and my drain can be fairly flush. If it's a hair lower, that's okay, but you, I do want it to be fairly flush. consistency of your sand to be like that. So you squeeze it and it holds its hold its consistency. That way you can pack this down and it's still not wet. You can work with it. You do this too wet and it's going to be soupy. You're never going to be able to get this perfectly 
angled and leveled and everything. Okay. Well, fetch. Almost forgot. You need to put some gravel in here so that the little weep holes don't get plugged with this mortar. We will find some gravel. I'm really sorry guys, my camera dies on me right here, but if you want to see a more detailed video about how to pack and shape and slope this concrete, you can look at my last video, which will put a link at the top of this video for you guys. Here's the finished product a day later when it's all dried. Um, in my next video, I'm going to show how to do the curb. We'll see you guys then.